Food is often considered a universal language of love, community, and connection. And now more than ever, we are gathering around the dining room table and eating at home. And of course, in that process, trying to take our home chef skills up several notches. Well, here to give us some of the tips that he used when cooking for the stars and tell us about his journey is Michigan native, celebrity chef and entrepreneur, Chef Daryl Das Smith. Thank you for being with us on Live in the D. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Thanks, thanks so much. It is our pleasure. Well, Chef, you were from Ipsy originally. What made you want to, want to become a chef? You know what? Um, I've always had the entrepreneurial spirit, um, and I've always loved food. So my entire career was really just about merging the passion of both um, entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurship and cooking and uh, taking it to the highest level. So with cooking and food, I've been able to do that. It's been an amazing, amazing ride. Well, speaking of taking it to a, a higher level, tell us about your experience as a chef to the likes of, you know, Sean P. Diddy Combs and working on former uh, First Lady Michelle Obama's luncheon in 2014. You've got to worked with a lot of stars. Yeah, you know, it's been um, it's been an amazing journey. I'm super blessed. You know, I, I never would have imagined food would have taken me on this ride. Um, but, you know, one thing I can say is that, you know, everything is about relationships. And when you work hard and you cook with your passion and your soul, people recognize it. And uh, sometimes it, it pays off. And uh, I just I'm super blessed. I'm super grateful. I'm super grateful that I'm from a state like Michigan and a city like Ypsilanti that taught me so much about blue collar work and what it takes to work hard. So, uh, you know, I owe a lot of that to to my home state of Michigan. That's great to hear. Now, you know, you got to work hard, but your food has to be good, too, because food is not one of those things that you can fake your way through. If it's not good, people are going to know immediately, would you say? Absolutely. You know, the first thing is, you know, you eat with your eyes first. So the first thing, it has to look good before you can even taste it. You know, with food, you use all of your senses, right? You see it first and then you smell it and then you may hear somebody talking about it and then you taste it. Right. So you use all of your senses all in a couple of minutes with food. That's true. And right now, you know, we're food is connecting us. We're getting back to the dining room table. But you've also created a way for us to experience your flavors at home. Tell us about Spice Shack. That's right. So so Spice Shack is our custom spice blends. This is um, one of our packages. We have three custom spice blends. This one right here is Chef's Blend. And this is your everyday seasoning. This is your salt and pepper. This is what you use every day. Um, we also have a seafood splash. And lastly, we have our French toast. Now, French toast is one of our most popular. It's our sweet uh, flavor profile. People are putting it in oatmeal. People are putting it in their coffee. Obviously, it makes an amazing French toast batter. And the point of this is to really just take the intimidation out of cooking. We wanted to make life a little bit easier. We started this company right in the middle of the pandemic. And what we noticed was there were so many more home cooks coming alive. And, you know, one thing I, I've always been about is just teaching people how to feel more comfortable in the kitchen. And with the spice sacks, it takes just one step and it helps lessen the ingredients that you need when you cook. And you're not running all over the place. So a lot of these things you can use right on any protein that you choose and it makes your meals wonderful. Yeah, and what I like about it, it's already pre-blended, so it's not like I'm putting too much pepper or too much of this or too much of that. I was uh, definitely taking a closer look at the one for seafood, the sack for the seafood. So where can people order? That's right. So um, you can order it on www.spicesack.com. That's spicesack.com. Um, we're also going to be in stores near you really, really soon. And the thing about seasoning that I want people to remember is that you can always add, but you can never take it away. Mm -hmm. So it's really important when you're working with seasoning that you season and you taste a little bit and see how much you need to adjust. Okay, I'll take that. Listen, pro, pro tip from a celebrity chef. We'll take right. it. We'll take it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Um, it's wonderful. I, I, I enjoy all the work that you guys do. Big shout out to Ypsilanti, Michigan. Shout out to all my friends and family that's watching. I love you all. Thank you, chef.